Blog Talk Radio. Check out the full episode of this on Mental Like Patreon. In the name of Amin, the Supreme, the All-Powerful, the one and only true Lord. And I'm in we trust, and I'm in we thank, and I'm in we continue forward in this message. Good evening. I'm your host, the intellectual Nubim Minkari. This is Mental Like Radio. And tonight we're going to be discussing uh, the influences to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Was the Honorable Elijah Muhammad really influenced by Father, uh, Father Muhammad, the Father Divine? I'm going to let you I'll give you a little history on Father Divine tonight. Can everybody hear me? Because I'm doing this from another phone and, you know, another mic and whatnot. I just want to make sure everybody, I'm coming in clear. Can everybody hear me before I go ahead? Am I coming in clear? I'll make sure I'm not breaking up in and out. Okay. You know, I came across this um, this individual. I don't know what made me um, come across it. I heard about him briefly before, but never to this much extent. Now, I heard of Marcus Garvey, of course. Heard of um, Noble Draw Ali, of course. Of course, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I even heard of uh, Sweet Daddy Grace. But, you know, and uh, I said no with Ali. I said him, Deuce Ali, all of them, Deuce Muhammad Ali, all them guys in the early 20th century. These guys all start to crop up. But this person I'm going to talk about, you know, he, this dude takes the cake, man. He was something else. He did. I watched a documentary on um, last night on him, and he got one interest in life. Uh, this guy by the name of um, I'm just calling him Father Divine. They were calling him George Baker. You know how the white man is. You know, want to give him, give him a slave government name, but the name he went under was um, well, his name was Reverend Major Jealous Divine. Wow, Reverend Major Jealous Divine. Can everybody hear me? I want to make sure I'm coming in quick. Can everybody hear me? Yeah, but this guy's name is uh, Father Divine. Now, you know, I was intrigued and I watched the documentary on this guy. This guy his height had like almost 2 million followers, and he had followers all over the world, not just in America, all over the world, in European countries. Was the Honorable Elijah Muhammad really influenced by Father Muhammad or Father Divine? I would say Father Divine more than Father Muhammad. Because what did Father Muhammad do in three and a half years? Realistically, what did he do in three and a half years that really was so earth-shattering? What knowledge did he really bring? Let's just be for real. What, what, what up? He taught, he taught about Islam, praying to the East, and all this other stuff, which, which, which brings the question, why would a God who's telling black people that you erase the God and it's the black man's God, why would you promote a religion to these people that a bunch of people were not God's followers? Shouldn't you have gave, given them a teaching that was for God's only? Shouldn't you give them a godly teaching that was only for the gods? You see? That's what you should have been doing. A teaching that was for the gods only. Not no, not sharing no religion with a bunch of damn Arabs. See, Father Divine, he had a teaching that was supreme and that it was meant to raise up people both black and white, but he didn't see himself as part of neither one because he wouldn't have been saying he was God if he was. You see, it's almost like Father Divine was an alien amongst the people who were stuck in the time frame and he was trying to raise them out mentally. Who was Father Divine? Father Divine was born in 1877. They said his name was George Baker. You know, like, the, like I said, the white man just was trying to give to the end. They didn't just disrespect the man, degrade the man, because they was really hating on him because they was jealous of Father Divine because he was, he, was, he was actually reforming people. He was actually cleaning people up. He was actually getting people off the welfare roll. He told people, y'all can't be part of mine until y'all pay back every bit of money y'all got off the welfare rolls. We don't take welfare. That's that. that hey. You know, like, we get, they was always turned off by that. We don't take no welfare. We don't take no handout. Why was he labeled a cult leader? Because, again, that was the way to demonize him, because they were demonizing every so-called black man. You see, because the black man 
about the, the white racists who were running this country decide the black man's going to be the boogeyman, the so-called black man, the native, the real Native American. We're going we're gonna to block them out and make them the boogeyman. We're going to make them the black people, the devil. We're going to demonize these people and whatever leaders are coming up to do anything. We're just going to discard they, make it seem like they crazy cult leaders and that they nefarious and whatnot. Meanwhile, but the Catholic Church, they can keep going. They can keep going. They can keep continuing their tradition of f***ing with little boys. Or, and, and the nuns, that's the really tough girl. And each other. They can continue their, their, their tradition of degeneracy, untucked, never being called a cult. Raw and uncut. How large was his movement? Very large. And that scared a lot of people. They say he was like 2 million strong. And he had followers all over the world. In, in places in Europe, Africa, places like that. He, you know, very influential. They don't like an influential bronze man. They like a simple-minded black man. What made him different and, um, different? Um, he took black and white people. And I understand where he was coming from with that. Not that I would do that, but I, I understand where he was coming from with that. That was a mission that he had to do. What is, uh, what, what why is he talked about much? Why is he talked about much? Because of the influence he had. Again, again, they can't really demonize him, but they're going to try and they're going to lie and make up things to try and do that. For the um, complete broadcast, you're going to have to go to Mental Like Patreon. Go to Mental Like Patreon for this complete broadcast because it will not, I guarantee you, it will not be on YouTube. Subscribe to Mental Like Patreon and join the Mesoamerican community. If it's hell, I'm in, then it's hell us. They tried everything just to spell us. Fed us religion, gave us fake gods. Through all of that, we beat the odds. Now we coming together under one flag. Colors red, gold, and blue. Superman, Superwoman, that's me and you. The infinite capability.